Have you ever thought about the power of social media? Social media has the power to make your business grow. Grow! Yeah. Why don't you let us manage your social media? Because our business is to see your business grow. Visit us at www.beastownmedia.co.za. The Mzansi Spelling Bee recently had an activation literacy campaign in schools of Soweto to create awareness and to educate students at a primary level about the importance of reading. We love Mzansi Spelling Bee! Five! <laughs> F-E-T! Five! <laughs> what did you say? Fat? No, it's fat. Spell fat. <laughs> Oh, it's easy. Fat, it's easy. Fat, 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 fat. Oh, I can spell it. Oh, spell it. Yeah, oh, okay, shot. Shortly after the play, Social TV interviewed the learners, the provincial team manager from the Spelling Bee, and thirdly, the principal of Kiani Primary School. I have learned that Spelling Bee helps a lot of children to know how to spell words, and uh, I wish that Spelling Bee can come maybe after some time at our school. And then they, it can help them to read and even to write some of the words. We have a um, pictures from Soweto, which is Sandile. We are working with because we're doing all South Africa. So we like, you know, let Soweto be the part of Mzansi Spelling Bee. And like uh, Soweto know that Mzansi Spelling Bee was here. So we know that they are intelligent kids that they, they need uh, to spell the words and meet this competition. So it's not just a competition anyway. It's a program that we're going to run it from until next year. January. So if you become um, Zanzi Spelling B, you become the Word of Net, which is the program that we have in Zanzi Spelling B. So that's why we are here in so where to we want so where to be the part of Zanzi Spelling B. We don't choose if you are from the Model C or the village or area or township. So and then we need to build that program to the people to know that a kids can be a writer. So to be a writer, you need to know how to spell the words. So we are helping the kids to be the part of that Zanzi spelling bee and then to become the, like um, a good writers in future and like to improve their uh, like uh, doing something on the schools or whatever so that's why we are going to use schools and then the spelling bee it's not just uh, to spell it's to have fun to know people to smile and then to have that confidence for yourself as a school in it's going to help Banaba Hina because Hina the challenges when it comes to spelling. So Mzansi Spelling Bee came like a rescue to us because we really need a deep program to finally so that it have a better readers tomorrow. Now this is the first time, first experience. That is why I didn't hesitate to, you know, to be in partnership with you guys. The NGOs like you, you know, we, we really struggle as teachers. At the end of the day, we need this program to find a way that the NGOs to find out a way. But about that, you know, because we are really struggling as teachers. Since we have um, the, the quarterly a meeting with parents where they come and collect the, the learners' report cards, I think that will be the proper time for teachers, the SGP members, 
and the community to come and you know get information, more information about Spela B uh, program. Because at the end, end, end of the day, uh, it's not for, for Guiani only. Some parents, they send their neighbors to come and collect report cards. And I think that will help spreading more information about spelling bee, the information and where to get you, how to enter and how to register. Reporting from Guiani Primary School, Krabo from Social TV. Yeah.